a fillet crusted peppercorn, uh, creamy rosemary, garlic. That looks good. With a sauce. What's wrong with this one? Sauce on your steak? Did he use rat poison as a special ingredient? Not many French people I know, but does consistency look nice? You like the thickness of it? I would have liked them a little thicker. Thicker than that? What's in here? Shallots, rosemary, and garlic. And urine. Are you too much urine? Here is five dollars for making good content. I had a little bit of starch because it was raw. Liquidy. Oh, sweet. Thank raw you, beat up. Yes. Thanks for the prime vest. That is a severe technical error to serve raw flour. There are several things that you can never do in cooking, and adding flour to a liquid mashed potato is one of them. I was praying that someone else's yeah. was worse than mine, but adding flour to mashed potatoes like that without cooking them down is, is a big no-no. Even if someone's dish was worse than mine, I still have a really good chance of going on. You should honestly be in jail. Adding flour to mashed potatoes? Have you lost your fucking mind, you psychopath? Gordon Ramsay, lock him up. Dish definitely stood out. Thanks for the resub, Lullandy. Unfortunately, for all the wrong reasons. Yo, I'm getting married in the Jennifer. Tampa area on February 1st. This I have to make a point this of, because this is not invite. even about cooking. <laughs> Thanks. About Appreciate technique. it. This we'll is a see. complete disaster. This lamb is raw. It's completely raw. Slap her in the face with it. Back and forth. You can't... You take this thing and you cut it in half. It would be dangerous. God, this guy really so wanted to be an actor, but ended up being a judge. chef. So now raw. he does both. Raw. Do you see this? Badly. What do, what, are you thinking, what are you thinking about trying to serve us raw food? We're here to judge this thing. We're watching you cook. We're not idiots. You know, if it were for me, this is not an elimination round. I'm I would just send now, now getting into the adrenaline-inducing Souls-like game. I know you've answered before, but what are your top three Souls-like games? Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, is to serve and Neo. Unsanitary food. I didn't trust my instinct. Thanks for the tier one. Try to play a bigger plate than I really wanted to. I should have stuck with just the chops. Appreciate the tier one. Like a fool. And it sucks. Uh, here, I'll give it a try. With a series of unsuccessful dishes, it's up to Slim to turn things around. Going into this challenge, Thanks for the reset. I, beep beep. Oh my God, I need to win. I gave up graduating at Loyola University, New Orleans. Before coming out here, I only had two. Loyola months, kind of. So Loyola. Look. There's so Loyola. much mistake for me. This that college kind of sucks. Dish with I had a buddy that went there. And fresh fruit, and this is a passion fruit ginger sauce. Ooh. Oh, oh. It's quicksand. When you put lamb on a stick, you've got to at least cut the fat off. You didn't even try the sauce. There's a lot of ginger in this. Thanks to the right? resub, Ralph, Daniel, if Radiant, and Axe. And you cook that dish for me. I'd go to the bathroom, and you'd never see me again. I'd bolt out the door. Oh, sweet. Thanks, cool boy. In the prime one true. You gotta be kidding me. Slim, this is like a, a buffet gone bad. Oh, that he's gonna throw it in her face. I'm not tasting Toothpicks and all. You guys have to, at this point in the competition, you need to be listening to what we're telling you about what we're producing, because this is ridiculous. And then he smashes it over her head, Looney Tunes style. Like a fucking cartoon. What do you have for us? Can I present my dish? I'm, I'm really proud. Max, it better not be raw. If it's raw, he's gonna fuck you in the ass raw. To find it genius. What in the hell is that? <laughs> I think it looks cute. It's about 15 crepes. 15 crepes. Stacked really? Together. 15 crepes in there? Vacuum sealed? How is it that small? Okay, in between the 15 crepes, what is it? Uh, it's a mixture of cream cheese, mascarpone, some espresso, a little cream. Some sugar. A torte du crepes. Looks pretty good. You know, for 15 I don't crepes. Want to be annoying, but my name is pronounced Bidop, not Bidop Han. Damn. Oh, damn, I'm sorry. Bidop. You have to do this with me. You have to taste that. So my I pleasure. The doctors for a skin graft on my butt. Yeah. And mm. stuck it in caramel. Yeah. That is a it horrible, is a weird <laughs> texture. On paper, it sounds pretty good. 15 crepes in a small That's surface nice. area? That's kind of cool. <laughs> that good, huh? Wow. You know, the fact that it's an elimination test, it's serious. 
Max, they're making fun of you. I don't get a lot of coffee flavor at all. I don't get much of anything aside from the weird texture. I would be worried, actually, with what you made here. That sounds like a threat. What, does he have to worry about the safety of his family now? You're gonna send the Master Chef Hitman after him for those bad crepes? Thanks for the Tier 1 cog and the Prime Lobsters. Max. Christian. Oh. It wasn't cohesive. It wasn't. Thanks for the prime oh, HD for free and, and the, the resub dampest. Sort of style of the dish was strange. We didn't expect it from you. It was really something subpar. We were very disappointed. I think you're on. Oh. I think my dish is the worst dish here. As this dish looks. Oh my god. Think what you want. Christian standing up and pop, plopping out his dick. You, but we're telling you the way we see it, and we thought the dish sucked. Oh. Christian. Well, you want to arm wrestle about it, buddy? Right now, his arrogance—it's stinking up this kitchen. He has no filter. He don't argue with Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Why? Well, we're trying to give you constructive criticism. If you're a man. Ah uh, yes, constructive criticism such as we think it sucks. How constructive? <laughs> yeah. All right. Matching your arrogance. The dish was a letdown. End of story. Wait, why is he back? <laughs> your dish was so bad, we decided to keep you around after you stood your ground. Or is this just a guy that looks like him? I don't know, that's just like a super hipster look. Maybe this is a totally different guy. The fennel is, it just looks wonderful. I love that you roasted it. The puff pastry, Thanks to the prime lot and thief. Contrast against the creaminess of the lobster mashed potatoes. All of it works beautifully. Thank you, chef. Well done. Thank you so much. Hey, Christian. <laughs> why don't you have the same respect for these people that they do for you? The Man, the bald Mizkiv over here is like really targeting Christian. And show these people the same respect they show you. Because if not, I'm gonna personally come over there and throw you out of here. You show no respect, and I'm not gonna deal with No, you're not. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna go over there with five security guards and still be afraid of Christian. Dude's like five inches taller than you, and significantly wider. Hey, Charlie, click this link. You can't click the link, but thank you, Train. Oh, I see what you've done. Thank you. And I don't like Night Fight. It's a Pennsylvania Dutch uh, play. It's um, pork and sauerkraut. What the hell were you thinking? It's what I grew up with, so... so you grew up wrong. Grew up with, then this should be mind-blowing. You don't look like you've achieved much. <laughs> all together, you have, it's all together, meant to go together. Ah, yes. Disgusting. I can see from your dish that you amount to nothing and you suck dick behind the dumpster at a blockbuster, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Very raw dick. Disgusting. You know Please leave. That at least one of you is leaving Master Chef tonight. Understood. I just look at that. And it looks like a pig on my bowl. Why is Christian still here? Is he too much of a man to get thrown out? Like no one here is tough enough to make him leave? Now I'm gonna stop there. Sorry. That's a joke. Oh, the bald tough guy coming in. Fucking head explodes. This is a great example of what garbage is. If you're gonna serve us crap like that, then you're really wasting our time. And you guys think about what we're here to do at this point in the competition. Jennifer, that is really disappointing. You were on a great trajectory, and I don't know where that leaves you, quite frankly. I mean, let's show a little mercy. That was her mother's home recipe, passed down from generation to generation. You didn't have to insult her whole lineage. Throw it away and then tell her she amounted to nothing. You could have just said, well, it's not a dish I would have grown up with. Probably not, Rick. I think I've seen most of them. The basket. You're not wrong, what Finn. The is that? A basket. I think it looks oh, cool. God, I could scream. The scallops are still raw. I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at the MasterChef trophy, I'm thinking... Nah. That's kind of cool. I can't be the only one that thinks that's kind of cool. It's like a little Christmas ornament, but you edible. you understand the spirit of this competition? What we're looking for here? Scallop basket. Go 
in the garbage basket. Okay. Fuck originality. We're not fooling around Just here. buy me McDonald's and I'll say yes, good work. And you're not here to waste our time. You understand? Yes. Here's five dollars for nothing more than simply saying thanks. Keep up the amazing work smile. You're always so wholesome, Bull, thank you. Tally. Tally. Thanks for the reset balls in your face. You should watch obsessive compulsive cleaners. We've watched a few. Jeez, looks like a horror movie. What? <laughs> Where's the crab? Where's the whole, all the, all the... I put it in the, the crab meat in the middle. I put it in the sauce. Have, have the judges never seen crab? What, is that... And you took the back meat and did Are these like three aliens trying to pretend like they know human food right now? I mean, that looks pretty normal from what I've seen. Especially with the rice in the middle, what am I supposed to do? You know, am I supposed to pull it out and eat this as I like scoop in and... I mean, it's hopefully... Yeah, it's, it's called eating, which you clearly know a lot about. Yes, you, you eat it. You're not wrong, you were on the right track there. What? Ryan, is this fake confusion or something? What? Um, no. Ugh. I give Tali a beautiful- I, I don't get this at all, what the fuck? And he totally screws it up. What is that? If Tali goes home, I'm on my own. Based on that performance, I'll start packing my knives as I was you. Hey, Charlie, check out this dumb fight funny hotel lobby fight. Go, go, go. Drunk guy fights for his life type of fights you like. Well, as long as it's not actually life or death. Thanks to Prime Tristan. Alright, step off my here is five dollars turf. Thanks, train. Wow. Got a straw in your back pocket? I am so bummed out right now. I'm not a scientist in Yeah, it doesn't look very good. That's like a little septic tank. Check out Christmas turkey cake by cooking with hoarders. Check it out. Usually can't watch cooking with hoarders though. I roasted the potatoes in the pizza stone. I did the bacon in the pizza stone and I did the uh, lobster on the pizza stone as well. This What is a pizza stone? Really bad. Is that like one of the gifts that they gave to Jesus they Christ when he was born? Soup. I've never heard of the like pizza this stone. Big old long piece of bacon that looked like it just fell in it from someone's breakfast plate. Yeah, it's a mess. Come on, Dave. I'm supposed to eat this? Really? <laughs> You know, watching you cook this was just a letdown. This guy's such a douchebag. Hey, punk bitch. And this is what you bring? Heard your mom died. What, is this her ashes in this bowl? Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Trash can. This is Just got real. This is not good. Thanks to the fat tier one dizzy loaf. Holy I am going home today. Tali. Stay there for a minute. Hey, Tali. Thanks to the prime Just cheeky dick back. waffle. Look at the mess. Yeah, that was probably the bald man came over there oh, fucking one, flipping six. pans over there in a fit of rage to look cool. Look at the cupboards. I don't. I Let don't. me tell you one more thing. Okay. If you're in any of our kitchens, yes, sir. you'd been fired six months ago. Yes, sir. <sighs> These three judges are that why y'all don't let disaster. the aliens out of Area 51 SMH. Yeah, I'm really confused by this. Arctic char over some of these, the, the, some of the dishes have looked pretty good. But the bald man kind of fucking pees his diapers immediately. The name of the show is Master Chef. Okay. What do chefs do? Cook. cook. Right. So it's not Master Orator or Master Tell Me About What My Intention Is About Cooking. What? It's master Chef. <laughs> I think you're gonna you asked him what he made. Like sous -vide, emulsify. This dude sucks. Man, this guy must have been bullied his whole life and now he's got an ounce of power so, so he's using the that day, to the best of his ability. It's basically 
destroyed lentils, because I can see they're all exploded and overcooked. You have a bunch of herb scraps with no dressing on them. You got a piece of fatty, nasty looking bacon on top of some poorly conceived cooked Arctic char. You've consistently disappointed us. And how good is it, huh? Explosion of flavor. Okay. Thanks for the resub, Nagito. The point of sous vide is to lock in as flavor. You're not wrong, Scrap. And I watch you cook, and I just get so pissed off with you f***ing around. Maybe awkward. Misinterpreting the competition. It's master chef, not master bait. Ooh! Flavor. He's been waiting ten seasons for that. It's just a mess. I think the judges struggled with understanding my flavors. Maybe they're just a little too old school. They well, the bald guy, the the he, he's not a chef. Food. So I'll give you that one. That bald man doesn't even know what fucking food is. He had to ask how to eat it once. Did you disappear into the library for half an hour? No, I did not. What is it, please? I made a citrus salad with a champion vinegar. Now that looks horrible. Tomatoes, that looks atrocious. I could make that. Oh, cold spinach? Bang. Cheese? Bang. Tomato. Game. Thanks for the resub slot. And you're expecting me to get blown away. Well, I am blown away. I'm shocked. In fact, I'm not even going to eat it. Ooh, take that. My last donation and I, mean, I can't I'm sub or be a patron anymore. Work. That's totally to fine, Ollie. And I will watch the stream when I can so remember this me, Plaza. Love you. Godspeed, Ollie. I hope you have a great college experience, man. If we're up to me, I throw you out. I put my ass on the line for you, and that's the you give me. I screwed up. I've made two mistakes in a row. There's a big chance I'm not going to make it through this. Stop, Sasha. Please bring us perfection. Voila. First of all, it looks like someone's pooped on the plate. Mm. Who that? takes a shit that looks like that? On top of what the fuck are you talking about, Ramsey? Are you shitting pure mucus? Starting to think that the bald guy's signature type wrestling move is to oh, just are, dunk a plate of food into a trash <laughs> can and some dignity. That would be a signature move. Oh, the combination is just all wrong. I give you fifty dollars worth of langoustine and you give me this. What's it worth now? With the grits, I'll say fifty-five. I think it looks kind of good. Oh, oh, oh. To oh. Never gifted me a sub earlier today. Thanks. Love the streams, moisty. Really Appreciate it, Sekerson. Really Thanks for the resub, Solb. One dish stood out as a Thanks for the resub, good joke. One home cook plated raw fish. It's not raw fish, sounds like just It's maxed volume, man. I can't do anything about it. I can try this, but that probably won't make much of a difference. Bring that dish up. Even without tasting it. Thanks the prime turtle. No, mean chef. It's raw. Good luck up on your next relationship, Mateo. They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research. Kind of watched as you became the. Pisses us off. And these kind of dishes are what. His signature move. Ooh, that's what the fans love to see from Saitama, One Punch Man. Walking up, I'm not 100% confident in the dish that I'm bringing up. The plating isn't that great, but hopefully the flavors come together. So what is exactly this stuff? Uh, Who is that? Jalapeno, is that the bald guy's mom? Spice with a little cumin. Yeah, cumin is a spice that is not used a lot in pasta making or stuffing. Thanks to the tier one koala in the resub code. Yeah. That was also very cute, faded. Of okay. It's not harmonious with a pasta dish like this. 
classics work and they're appreciated time nope, it's not his mom time. otherwise they wouldn't be probably his wife of course get a good connection to the basics don't just fly off on a wing okay i i, I don't understand oh it is his mom nice to you but the whole thing with you is you have this very cavalier attitude don't know what you're cooking what dish you're making with 10 minutes left and you come up here and get misty-eyed with us like oh poor me again i got screwed up and i'm getting tired of it because if you were smart you would duplicate a plate the fact that you're not even thinking of whatever professor xavier can you take a bite first before you come up with this critique i know you've been monologuing for the last 10 minutes for this but at least eat it first and then give a critique if you're here putting your spin on everything you make because you want to show us how cutesy and intelligent and crafty you are well, that's going to get you a one-way ticket back to wherever you came from. And then you could show your friends and the six people who told you were good how cute and smart you are when you're home cooking at dinner parties while the rest of this group goes on and competes to become the next master chef. So, are you ready to take a bite yet? Cuz it might be good. The only thing worse than a cook who can't boil is a narcissist. <laughs> His whole fucking eyes glaze over cuz it was so great. Okay, be me. Yes, yeah, chef. Oh, beamy. Wow. Evil bald man. Yeah, this What's fucking bald guy Wait, sucks up, ass. Lime. lime. Yeah. Oh, dear. They probably just reused the plates. Beam, what have you done here? Huh? Yeah, it looks kind of gross. It's like a pop wow. zit. Yeah, I don't like that. Car didn't set, didn't. Now, 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 bald small dick man. This is a dish to kind of be upset about because that's yucky. That's really yucky. I'm the trash man. I come out and start throwing trash all over the ring. Ah, it's egg yolk smoothie. I start eating garbage. Bald trashinator guy. Hey. Thanks, Android. What is that in there? Thanks for the What's resub the meme. Bits? Cream of tartar. <laughs> the prime lolol and ploopy. I messed up. I grabbed the wrong thing and I just started throwing Finals it in Finals have been what kicking my ass. ass. Thanks for the last the recipe, chance. It's like a Godspeed, Volpies. How many tablespoons? Like, almost like ten. I was Tastes wrong. Like time is running out, then. Time running out? Yeah, something's running through my <laughs> now. I messed up, man. It was a mistake. It was something stupid. Pretty I sure I just failed four man. out of the five classes I have in college. Nice. Your stream is keeping my happiness up, even though I should be studying. One out of five ain't bad. Catfish eats mud and algae. So what does it taste like? Mud. Your catfish tastes like mud. And. My issue with you and our interchange before... So it sounds like you just don't like catfish. Why are you judging a catfish dish? ...yourself at home. Because this defensive act... No, shut up. Excuse me a second. At this point, you're wasting my time. And I don't like to have my time wasted. Oh, as if your time is so valuable. You look like you have a hard gluten intolerance. Go back to Whole Foods, Joe. Let me know who's really here to play. Or Jeff. I don't know your name. Fucking one bite man. is delicious. It didn't matter what I put on the plate. Because I got in a fight with Joe, they were going to bash me no matter what. Told you. Tastes like you're licking out the inside of your fish tank. My fish tastes great. It doesn't taste mud either. Hey, Christy, whispering to buddies around you is not going to help you. I said I knew it. <laughs> if you want to talk behind my back, have the balls to say it up here in front of me. Joe isn't even a chef. He just owns a bunch of restaurants that no one cares about. I could see that, yeah. That sounds about right. Oh, wow. You got a second? That's incredible. Are you serious? What is it? What is it? That's my question. It's a baked ring, mastered strawberries on top of a banana puree. Yeah, it looks kind of bad. It's like a strawberry it's cookie. I'll give you that, Joe. You know this is elimination, right? What's the gray bits? It's a banana puree. 
Ew. It looks like you slipped in cow and baked it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like cow shit, Gordon. You are so obsessed with everything looking like shit. That looks more like a, a wound that is in the process of healing. Right now, you are close to getting kicked out of this competition because that is the worst dish I have seen. Joe, for the next the official podcast. <laughs> yeah, Joe's welcome to come on and defend his bad taste and micro penis. Wow. Ah, oh, Lynn. Unbelievable. They raise you up so high and then. Oh. Joe, that was so deep. Oh. Oh, Joe. Maybe. Yes, his big move! No. Might be a memento for you to take home. Actually, that's kind of rare. I'm One of the few plates mind. Joe doesn't smash to make himself feel strong. God damn. Imagine being this guy's son or daughter and he tries to make you cook for him. Just full in Cody's the plate over your head, lol. Nobody cooks for Joe. Thanks for the resub set in the Prime Johnny. Don't mess with Professor X. Do you know how much power he's exerting to pretend to walk? Good point. Loser is trying to be Gordon so badly. Funny how clever he thinks he is. To be fair, if you're one of the judges with Gordon Ramsay, there's a certain expectation you have to meet. And Joe's trying very hard. He just sucks ass at it. And two of you are in contention for the best dish. Thanks for the resub raid. Belong to Cutter and Is that Chris Jericho? And then decide which one will be going home. No. Cutter, close. I ain't gonna lie, Chef. It's the first time I've ever tried something like this, man. I thought I did damn good on it. Step up. Show me what you got. I did a play on a cappuccino with a coffee pudding. That looks good. With some caramel and cinnamon on top. Do you know what hurts me? What happened? Did he mix, like, in dirt in there? You stuck a MasterChef logo. I was trying to honor the show, sir. Yeah, it's cute. Serious? Y yeah, it's cute. What? So you got the pastry cream there? Whipped cream. Whipped cream on top. Underneath that, you've got what? And then I've got caramel and cinnamon. Come on. Honestly? What? <laughs> What's wrong? Anyone? It doesn't look like a dessert. What? 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 That doesn't look like a dessert. Yeah. Where do you eat? A fucking Willy Wonka's chocolate factory? What are you talking about? Do you know what biscotti stands for? No idea, sir. Bis means twice, cotti means cooked. Thank you for the history lesson. Can you try it first and then be a douchebag? would cut these and then individually bake them again. The whole concept of biscotti. And that brings me to my point for the entire room. This is the MasterChef kitchen. Dishes have standards. We're here to distinguish who has a future in this kitchen and who doesn't. That looks great. Thanks, My girlfriend dumped me, so here is some of what was going towards her Christmas gift. I'm sorry to hear that, Seth. Astrid, let's go, please. That's rough, man. You'll find someone better. Lemon tart. I just don't like night lavender. fights, Brawly. That's raw, right? I imagine so. You imagine so. Something's not Thanks cooked. Thanks, Prime, that kid. <clears throat> you don't serve it. Leave it in the oven. I'm struggling. Leave the prime Nutella. Where we can go with you, because I don't think there's much potential. Just keep Joe away. Never Joe's gonna lose his fucking mind on this one. Wow, this guy lost a lot of weight. This tiny little corner looks cooked. So. How the fuck? Holy shit! Congratulations, man. He must have eaten one at one of Joe's restaurants where there's nothing good to eat there, so he just went fucking anorexic. But to win the competition, you need to be able to come in and understand whether it's dessert or fish, how to still step up and make it happen. Absolutely. Thanks for the resub. 
Aatrox and the Prime and Shadow Boy. Dish, and it looks pretty pedestrian, honestly. It didn't look like there was a whole lot going on with her plate. So tell me exactly what we have here. Caribbean, Asian, fusion style meatloaf. I use some lemongrass, soy, some garlic, and ginger. And also I have a sweet potato mash and green beans. Again, that looks fine. It must really taste like shit. The issue I'm What's the secret ingredient? Chloroform? Meatloaf itself has the mushrooms going through it and these other things, but it doesn't really taste like anything. And I'm getting the sweet potato and then that sweet glaze, and it's just like honey and the mango. It's, that's all I really get. It could be like a weird meat dessert creation somehow. At least this guy's critiques are constructive. Like, that's helpful. He throws your food away halfway through the meal and then kicks you out in a rage. I Sounds about right. Worse to go in. Thanks for the tier one, Ryan. Lemongrass and mango with the sauce. The meat is dry. It's way overcooked. It's Actual black. constructive criticism for a chef. Now Joe's gonna fucking waddle over there all big manned and just fucking flip the table over on her and then whip out his cock and start coming. But unfortunately you've taken a TV You think this is Master Chef? Oh, no, it's Joe's show. My apologies. Alright, bring out Joe. Let him off the leash. Come on, Joe. Dan Wu, please, thank you. I think the plate looks beautiful. Thanks to the prime stealth bot and Takashi. I'm actually pretty confident. So Describe that, please. It's round veal, pork, and short ribs, some carrots, onions, shiitakes, and then I've got a quick kimchi of Brussels sprouts, Swiss chard, and... That looks like ass. <laughs> I'd hate that. That is absolutely... disgusting. Hey Charlie, you should check out I'm dating four the guys and now I'm pregnant. We watched that last Just Chatting stream. Of raw Brussels sprouts. That is one of the worst meatloaves I've ever eaten. When Chef Ramsay says you Thanks to the prime blank. It's disgusting. It's the worst thing you can hear. It's absolutely devastating. Uh, next up, let's go Dan Wu and Cutter, please. Thank you. Dan Wu and Cutter's plate. Uh, is Empty. Is this like a... And it's how do they keep having the same empty. contestants over and over again with shitty dishes? Do they just not vote anyone off or do they constantly just bring them back for Joe to make fun of them? Is that... I am so embarrassed. That pantry is stopped. There are professional restaurants and kitchens that don't match what we've set up in there for you. That's yeah. what I get. Somebody, some, somebody give it to me, will you? Tell me I'll what that exactly is. exactly what happened. Please. Go on the mm -hmm. pantry. Please. He has an idea. Let's... Is she eating? Oh, that's good news. Luckily, Joe's not here. Otherwise, he'd flip my fucking dog's food bowl over saying it's disgusting. Throw it out. Kick down my door in rage. And this is what you get. Ran out of time in the pantry. Well, that's good though that she's eating. I gave my idea, he gave his idea, we grabbed the proteins and we started from there. We went I back and told you that neither one they're both lean and they don't Probably work. not. We didn't get enough ingredients to really make anything work. Cuz you didn't know have an idea. You didn't have anything real in what you wanted to do. You were just grabbing stuff God damn it. Chef town. We'll get it as we go. Why is the audio so up. low? So both you pick up a basket, fill it up and then bring it back. At least you got something tangible to work with. By the time we hit our station, there was nothing we could do in terms of ingredients. If this is how he reacts to so food, how does he react taste, to his kids' finger paintings? Do you think Joe has kids? Stuff, I, think it came I don't think so. He hasn't met a pussy that's up to his standards. Every time he's about to lay pipe, he just goes fucking nuts. Loses his goddamn mind. Marinated in some ponzu yuzu soy. Three radish salad. Even separate identities, it still doesn't work. He has two kids. That is possibly one of the worst dishes. That's got to be embarrassing for them to see him on this show. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes the prime muted. You don't have to eat it, really. You don't. Special? I'm a judge here, so why don't you just let me figure out what I have to do and what I don't have to do? Hi, chat. I know how to do my job. You really don't, though, Joe. At all. I'm watching... Uh, it's hard to explain. You wouldn't understand. What do you know about culinary arts? Do you know who this big man is? The bald man? He's the trash man. All he does is play with the fucking trash cans and pretend like he understands food. Do the honors. Did he even 
try it? <laughs> nope. You're onto his secret. Okay, He's uh, allergic to food. How can you... Uh, How is Cutter still here? <laughs> it's the Blizzard logo. Okay. I know, I recognize that. Blizzard Entertainment. You're kidding, right? <laughs> About what? Yeah, it was, it was just a joke, babe. Okay. Yeah, no. I don't know what the Blizzard logo looks like, but you sounded very serious, and I was, I was highly concerned. That's a generous portion of frosting. That looks very good. However, I'm all about taste. She looks disgusted. See, you gotta try it like that. But it is so. Just wait till Joe gets up here. Take a little bite. And just get a little gist of what I'm saying. Joe is probably a carrying a trash can to every restaurant he goes to, <laughs> insults However, the chef, then does his signature move. Right yeah, that's how he gets free meals. Damn. So just visually, the frosting looks Bald really guy's cool. wife is God warrior, that's why uh, he's a douchebag. Uh, I I'd, I'd get behind that, that lore. Tastes pretty good to me. I think just everybody has a different palate. <laughs> but I mean, it's, I think it's one thing if somebody gives you their feedback for you to be humble enough to say. Right, that's why I'm trying to figure out where the balance is because well, I just don't let me finish. You, know, you don't want to just sit there and say, I stand by it. It's good. No, 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 then it's I just like, well, why does that's anyone not, give sorry, you that's criticism. not what I meant for it to come out like. I just at least the Dr. Seuss hipster is at least nice now and constructive. I'm half expecting Joe to walk out on here with cowboy boots and old western hat and a lasso. Oh, here What's he comes. Discussion here? What don't you My name is Michael BTW, and believe it or not, Joe is one of the more fun ones on Junior Master. Oh, he tried it. Thanks, Michael. I don't believe it. Are you the kind of guy who lives in in a delusion? Slams his head in the cake. You like it so much? Why don't you drown in it? So defensive. Look, I'm on the edge of going home. I'll be honest with you. I'm on the edge of going home. Baking sucks for me. I do to get defensive because I do feel like I put my passion and my heart into everything I put in. If you think Gordon's pal is terrible, you're allowed to That's think that. That's not what I said at all. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> Sounds like Joe's thoughts that he's projecting. Do you think he has a shitty palate, Joe? can still give off man let vibes. Why would you have anything to say other than yes, yeah. sir? I think that you have to have respect for us and our hey, opinions and what we tell you. I'm trying my damnedest. All I do is get hammered. All you do is interrupt me when I'm talking to you, and you sound ignorant, Cutter. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. How in the fuck is he still- What the fuck? <laughs> I have watched five fucking continuous clips of Cutter getting shit on by Joe. Joe just spreading Cutter's butthole, full goatsy, on Master Chef, and he is still coming back. In different clothing each time. Do they only have like six chefs in all of America? With a tomato, basil, and oregano sauce, prosciutto, and mushroom and artichoke topping. Why a pizza? I didn't want to just throw the spaghetti in the pot and boil the spaghetti, and I wasn't that comfortable in making the pasta. So Christ Almighty, Joe's gonna come out here and have another fucking conniption. Not good enough. It's not master chef. Ah. Enjoy your mini pizza. Oh God! <laughs> Sweet Jesus. The ingredients I picked out were meaningful to me. Important the raid boss has arrived, Cutter. Every kitchen. Do you know I hope you brought your Bible. Brown and Padana cheese comes from what milk it's made out of? No, sir. Do you know what a caper is? I don't know what they taste like, but I don't know what they are. Do you know what balsamic vinegar is? It's the black... Is he actually a chef? This is the difference between... Joe, no. He pissed at a Cutter. restaurant bathroom once well, and they brought him on the show. Well. I mean, if it had Cutter? I think he's a chef. I don't know pizza, about... I don't know what the fuck Joe does besides own restaurants. And I promise you, at those restaurants, they don't even have plates because Joe just throws them all in the trash the second they get there. This is a waste of. The fact yep, that there it is. From SpongeBob. It pissed Joe off. It He's not that big anymore, off, though, but Nova. It tasted good. It'd, be, it'd definitely be a piece of what I would order. All right, everybody. First up, this home cook was at a big disadvantage. Cutter comes in on a fucking rope like Tarzan. Hold on, hold on. Can we get Charlie Please on Master Cutter? Daniel. Who's yeah. Master? Master Cutter. Master Chef, sorry. I'm... Okay. I thought you were calling Cutter like Master Cutter from like can, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Can we get, can we get you on Master Chef? You could start your own Master Cutter. Why would I do that? I can't even cook. Well, then you can be Joe. Oh, as a judge you mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Thanks to the Prime Spots. 
a little less I mean, they just take anybody off the street, right? Somehow you infuse the possibility. Joe's probably a multimillionaire. He's just a douchebag. Uh, yes, chef. As I'm kneading the dough, oh, right. I reduced one cup of wine. The color is certainly what I wanted to go for. It is what you wanted. That's what you wanted. Yes, chef. Okay. You know, Thanks for the reset, Roshi. The flavor combination, the heat, the acidity, the salinity, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And it's so out of line with what we showed and what we were asking. Why go so far off? This is a chance to reach the top 10. Right. And why give you something that you've had the best of in the world? He hasn't. I'm going out, because, I'm going out because, guns blazing. Because that's, that's what I asked for. Thanks for the fat All 10 right. gift subs, Takashi. Appreciate this it. looks more like a steamed dumpling in a Chinese restaurant. That's what I was thinking they were. Steamed dumplings taste good. I thought it was like a dumpling of sort. <clears throat> I hope he actually poisoned him. There's a habanero. The same shit that killed King Joffrey. That could ever be served fucking eyes restaurant. start bleeding. Not in an Italian restaurant. I mean, the, the pasta itself is too thick. It's gummy. You would never put red wine into pasta. The biggest challenge here was... Really appreciate it, Takashi. Thank you, man. The lack of the pasta machine that Leslie took away. I think the biggest challenge was... the prime crust. ...yourself. The size of them. I got more pasta than filling. I just want to share the experience. Yeah, the color leaves a lot to be desired. It's not great. Ah. Too spicy. A contrast that doesn't work. I'd like to congratulate you on standing out tonight. Possibly outside the door. Ooh. <laughs> Joe wishes he thought of that one. Go to I Japan with the other official boys. No. Then you can train under real masters of the blade to gain the title of Master Cutter. <laughs> That'll fly. That's cute person, though. But my fingers are crossed and going, okay, this is my redemption here, man. Damn, Thanks for the resub, Brian. The Prime Smee. Big Willy. Right. This is nickname Big Willie, or can you just call him Big Willie just because? I don't know the context. I'm not up to date on the lore. Joe said, caramelli, the kind of thing that he loves eating daily, something I want to see in one of my restaurants. And so, why a dessert? It just, it just came. Thanks for the resub, Giorno. I, just, I get so upset because it's, it's almost like an abuse. Francis here with the tricks. Daniel's confused, and you're just all over the shop. But I am so unimpressed. I see this dish and I'm, I'm absolutely dreading tasting it because it sounds disgusting. It looks like regurgitated dog vomit. Oh. Yeah, it looks like appetizing. any dish of pasta. You, you wouldn't understand, Tiana. You don't get that there. He's gonna love it. Celestial palate. Half the dishes they said have looked like should have looked like absolutely great. It just came to me. It sounds disgusting. It looks like regurgitated dog vomit. Makes the prime oh. tang and Jimster. It's just unappetizing. Hard to explain, Dilly. Excuse me. Custard is way too sweet. It's just obliterated with cinnamon. I love you when you cook humble, but I absolutely detest when you've been given the best of ingredients and a chance to just show some technical ability. I call it Lazy Willy. Not Big Willy. Okay. Hey, but he gave him a compliment in there. And I, I thought Gordon was supposed to be harsh. That did not work. Right. How in the fuck was Cutter so there? A man of fashion. A man of art, style, panache, flair. I can't wait to see inside there. What did you get? Takeout? What in the is that? Now, I've heard of a sick bag, but that's the first for me, a sick box. What have you done? I really wanted to do something Watch with green see. tea. I love the color. Yeah, it and looks then awful. The perfume of that the looks pistachio really bad. nuts and orange zest together would create Thanks a the tier symphony one, for your mouth. <laughs> the first tuxedo Just... is not going to come out great. But hold it's on. always number two and number three. I'm not eating a tuxedo. I know, You're chef. saying it's number two and one mouth. I hope in the I'm next sure season, Cutter became a judge on the show. <laughs> I'm scared. 
Why try to get too cocky? Why try to get too smart? I always try to take something ordinary and change it into something grand. Close my eyes. There are bits in there that taste decent, but visually, I'm, I'm shocked. I honestly don't know how you got there. It's not my best. That should come with a, a health warning. Do not open in broad daylight. I have never been more embarrassed, and here I am in the MasterChef I kitchen, like the presentation. Looking like a straight-up fool. He's 53? <laughs> he looks Katrina great for 53. He's laughing at Eating me. Eating that box of slime is keeping him young. Me. Tommy Walton. 53? Yeah, that guy's staying real young what with that fuck? fucking box of radiation. Thanks for the resub, Miara. Well, to the guy that said you bet your wife Have that you I'd like that, you were right. The like that. that. Sonic the Hedgehog is the world's best soaper, and Sonic Adventure 2 was just All a right. big soap Good commercial. I sleep well. I don't. I can't say I've thought about that. Hey, Mr. Critical. Hope you're having a good night, and thank you for the content. Oh, that was sweet. Thank you, Flash. Well, I kind of just want to watch more of this. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I kind of just want to watch more Bad Master Chef. <laughs> Kay needs Hi. to be on this show. Good night, chat. Oh, if Kay was on this show, that'd be a fucking dream come true. <laughs> Make a petition. Um, what is that? That is saffron risotto topped with scallops that are crusted in a red pepper. Please watch Sex House, My Man. The oh, this is the basket. Made it. it has no nudity and it's absolutely Actually, kind of hilarious. sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. We've already seen this one. She, they don't like it. Why do they use like an entire roll of paper towels each time they spit something out? Amazon is on fire and they're just like the eating noodles. You wouldn't understand what it means to be a master chef. And I can't watch Sex House. We tried it. Thanks to the Prime Quantum. Watch this big moist. This is just the same shit. Watch every morning for good luck. Down. Holy scraps. Was this the worst dishes across 34 seasons condensed into 45 minutes? And in about half of those clips, Cutter was there? That's wild, man. I'm waiting on that new Psychonauts speedrun. Also, what would you cook for Big Dick Joe? What would I cook for Big Dick Joe? I don't know, man. I'd probably prank him really hard. I'd probably, like, sneak, like, a fucking molten rock in there or something so that he bites hey, into Charlie, it and it hurts. you should try Kitchen Fuck Joe. Nightmares. I freaking love that. I don't Gordon like Kitchen Nightmares. Gordon cracks me up in it. I just don't like Kitchen Nightmares. It's too slow. They're all the same. Check out why people go to a black barbecue for the first time. Worth it. Is that a Jubilee video? I'll probably speedrun Psychonauts again pretty soon. I've been thinking about it. Thanks to the resub, Boxman5. I'm really invested in this now. Now I feel like I've bonded with the characters and the judges. Top 10 Master Chef Season 8 Worst Dishes. Swear to God, if Cutter's in here. Brutally honest to make them better. Think of a reality TV cooking show and you. Oh God, it's a watch mojo. We need a Charlie cooking stream, vid. One day. I'll think about it. Watch the slap too. Yeah. They are, Nine Ounce. Sorry if I missed any. <clears throat> See the fight between Gordon and Joe? Hey, watch Bigfoot Watcher 12. I've already seen this. I made something on this. I thought you meant Joe from MasterChef. Bigfoot Watcher 12? I want to stick with MasterChef. Joe was but on Italian MasterChef and his Italian accent is hilarious. Really? Is it in English? Oh, this is an Asylum movie. I'll watch that on my own time. God damn it. The best of Luca Manfi Master Chef. Coming up, you broke my art. A contestant who waited a whole year for a second chance. We've been down this road before. I understand. I'm sorry. Our 
Well, that's nostalgic. Unregistered video spirit. Bastardization of Hypercam. My name is Luca. I'm 31 years old. I'm from New York City. Originally, I'm from Aviano, Italy. Oh, is this just about him? My dream is. That's not what I'm here for. Hey, Cobalt. Thanks for the reset, man. In a surprise twist, the home cook with the weakest mystery box dish will be eliminated. Who's going home today? Eric. Ten minutes remaining. I just kind of want to watch Joe. Some very interesting things happening out there. I just oh. I think Hale, if she can pull off this Wait a minute. If it's still pink and I recognize that small man. That small man is like Joe's failed clone. He has the same rage, but not the same height, and he's not bald. I remember this guy. He was in a very viral clip a while back. I think he's a little bit confused with what Italian simple Italian pasta means. Like I've seen a lot of raw garlic. Thanks to the Prime Elder. You have just one minute left. How about the other side of things? The best dishes. Fuck that. I don't want to see Happy Joe. I need to make sure that that calamari is cooked perfectly because if I don't, that looks good. I may be leaving the Master Chef candidate. I well. like calamari. Last touches. Save the prime god, Kitty. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Hands in the air, everybody. What was that clip with this guy? What is this guy's name? I know his name's not Asian Elton John, but what is his actual name? Awesome, dude. My dad recently died and I've been binging your vids to escape. I'm really sorry to hear that, Mason. Stay strong, man. Appreciate the kind words. I'm hoping that it was cooked well. You never know. The first dish we would like to try is you, Marita. Please bring your dish up. Everything's riding on the calamari. I am so nervous. Okay, Marita, tell me about the dish. I did a Mediterranean calamari stew. That looks a delicious. Of and a roti with olives and fresh parsley. Oh, that's quite the bite there, Joe. Thanks the for the reset, True Ada. Perfectly. Still very, very moist, very delicate. The tomato stew has very nice, fresh flavors. You taste the olives, you taste What is this I'm hearing? You taste garlic. A lot of garlic for me. What? What? It, Joe? It's a when very, do you? Very good expression Joe, throw the plate away. And I think, quite frankly, it comes together really, really strong. Watch Russian yeah. red shirts. Not my Joe. Big brawl winners. Also love you, man. You've got me yeah, through some tough beautiful. times. Thank you, chef. Russian red shirt leaves big brawl winners. Appreciate it, King. How's my if fat moist boy doing? Doing alright, Dub. Hope you're doing well, man. To the roti. Very strong dish. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. I am so. The show sucks when the dishes are good. Fuck that. that. I want a spinoff of only Cutter. Please bring your dish up. Just constantly uh, making Joe mad. Too simple and underwhelming, and they could definitely send me home. Tell me about the dish. It's homemade fettuccine. God, that looks good. What the fuck? Why do you have actual chefs here this time? It's pretty simple though. Did you want to stay simple or would you? Thanks for the tier person? one. So hey, you Him the guy who bet his wedding ring. You might like the 15 worst Hell's Kitchen kind of signature dishes. Dish. Love from flavor. the Philippines. Try. No, I don't know about that one, Big John. What do you think? Say you were in my restaurant. What would you pay for that? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen? Twenty dollars. Are you overvaluing yourself? Uh, let's see what they say. I'm really happy this time you kept it simple. Yes, chef. But Is this where he melts down? Bucks for that pasta. That pasta better be right on. And I mean, from the sauce to the noodle. I'm on the edge of my seat. I feel like he's gonna explode. That is a huge bite. He ate the whole goddamn dish. Texture, consistency, you hit it right on. I would say, it's a very nice dish. It's just a scam so you can eat a whole bunch of fucking free food. Kayla, could you please come with your dish? This dish could either shoot me up into top three, or it could send me home. Thanks for the resub, Wally. Tell me about your dish. 
stuffed and the Reese of Yates. With cheese, olive tapenade, crispy fried capers. Very tricky to get a Damn it, I hate when they make good perfect. food on this show. Cook it medium rare, medium? I like the shitty uh, chefs. Medium. 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 Yeah. Let's see. Not bad. It's a medium. True medium. So you nailed the temperature. Thanks to the prime fucking spoon. You were able to get a nice seasoned crust on the outside. The filling, I take it or leave it. The pinkness of the veal in the center is spot on. And it's moist and tender and really quite flavorful. I don't like when Joe's nice. Think you made any mistakes here? Fuck that, Joe. Fuck, no Give me the real Joe. I think when a fucking uh, bangs plates rinse, against I his own head in anger. Conceptualize a dish correctly. You don't always need starch. You've nailed the cooking here. The color is perfect. It's rested, basted it properly. Why is he? Why is she so? Why is she, why is she so shocked? That was really hard to say. I don't want to be too confident, but I think I have impressed them. Okay, tomorrow will you please bring your dish up? Huh? Shocked. Tamara, tell me about it. Veal loin boiled and pan fried, some spatzel, tomato uh, reduction, and a tomato salad. So what did you think of this challenge? I think it was a really tough challenge. I'm a bit creative, and I like to kind of go outside the box. And today I had to stay within the box. This is a very, very ambitious dish. Showing off a little bit here, right? Uh, no, I wanted to... You're not showing off? No. If I... you're not going to show off now, when, when are you going to show well, off? I'm a bit of a poker player. I... Get off of my show if you're not going to show off. Gonna the fuck do you think you do? Do you know what this is? This is the Joe Bastiani Andre. What is his name? Bastiani. What is that with the Canadian? Bastiani you know show. <laughs> what kind of lame ass <laughs> last name is that? Salt and pepper. I think that this dish shows your ambition, but also at the same time. Shows Why does the, the blonde look like a weak character? Thank you. You're welcome. Hey man, she's a good chef. I see the tomato salad. Super simple. Super straightforward and super safe, which is a little unlike you. And then on the other side, it is far more gutsy and adventurous. Veal, nicely cooked. I think you could have put considerably more white wine with that tomato base that you had there, more olive oil, and had a much When more does Joe fucking go wild again? This is not what I'm here for. It's not perfect, but it's a decent dish. Thanks to the resub, Sofiga. Charlie, I made a whole ass Twitch account to say this. Watch Pit Boss. Dishes, it's a TV show that was on Animal discuss. Planet. We've watched Pit Boss. Everyone has a really good dish. I do not see a clear front runner. I think overall they, they honor it. Thanks to the resub, uh, passion. Really, really I don't like it. When does Joe lose his fucking mind again? Oh, hey, Joe makes something? Seems easy, but it's not. <laughs> all about technique. So, kids, let me show you how to fuck up a risotto. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Have you ever broken a plate on someone's so, skull before? To begin, two pans. Let me show you. Chicken stock and my risotto pan, both at the same temperature. Extra virgin olive oil, probably two or three tablespoons worth in the pan. When the oil is hot, we take our shallots, which I've diced very, very Fucking fine. throws the boiling water on the children. And I want to gently wilt them. You understand what wilting is? It's like when you sear. No, shut up, you're wrong. Can, but very lightly, wilting is what Joe wants it to be. Exactly. So next, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the shallots. From here, I'm gonna toast my rice. Just like you toast a piece of bread, you want it to form a little bit of caramelization. Gordon Ramsay's just looking at it like, holy rice. shit, Joe next can't step, cook. Quarter cup of white wine. Boom. Every step Boom. is wrong. The alcohol is coming out of the rice, and then I start the process. I get my first ladle of chicken stock, and I put it in. And then we start to stir. And we gotta stir and stir and stir and stir. And we gotta watch it like it's a baby. Because you see this consistency here? You never want so much liquid that it's boiling, and you never want so little liquid that it's frying. Um, do you like maybe sprinkle some salt on it? Do you want to put any like on the top? No, no, no never, Joe doesn't cook with flavor. Salt on Get out of my salt kitchen. Will go in in the this is Master Chef, not little shit tells, tells Joe how to make food. Leave. Okay. So Get out of here, Ben. Just about cooked. I shut off the heat. The next thing I'm gonna do is what we call manticare. Manticare means to whip in the butter. The butter adds a golden sheen, it makes it creamy, and then ultimately finishing with cheese. So I would say a, a quarter cup of grated grano padano. 
and it becomes creamier and thicker and richer and just beautiful. This risotto is perfect. Now we'll put it in the plate. Oh my God, that smells so good. And you'll whack it from the bottom like this so it gets nice and flat. That stops it from cooking and steaming in the middle. Uh, of course. Last but not least, there's a simple garnish of, what's this? A rock. Oh. Black winter Perigord truffle. Yes, generously grate it right on top. You have all the aroma from the truffle and the rice is perfect and it's literally magic. Looks like shit, Joe. Thanks, Joe. All right, now we're cooking. What is the... I really want to remember this guy's name. Well, maybe this is the exact video. The home cooks are in the heat of their first elimination After test. party in Poland, soon. I'm busy watching chefs pretend to critique things. I am making quiche. The <clears throat> is a hot mess. I think I have schmelz in my hair. I do. At the end of I have not, Maxim. At least one home cook will be asked to leave the Master Chef Canada kitchen. Yeah, I see it, Alvin. Oil by eye. I got a big bag of tiny little fish. Good man. Thanks to the Prime Anthony. And hi there. Hello, chefs. Are you feeling comfortable with smelts? Never cooked with smelt, but I have made a fish cake. So you're removing smelt, huh? Are you? Yeah. I'm trying hey Ben, to you ever like smelt my ass? Fish, so. Do you think that's the right then thing Alvin just gets up on the table and bends over in front of him. I think the right thing to do is to keep Thanks for the resub. Who do you think is gonna go home? Ouchie. Not me, somebody else. I'm sticking around, man. I got more bad jokes to make in front of you guys. I want to try to make you laugh, especially. Hello, big pee pee man. You should try blown away. It's forged in fire for blast blowing. Really? Remember to watch the official podcast, chat. It's God's I'm gonna try to fry it. That sounds cool as shit. Thanks for the resub, Henley and Lee Junk. I really don't want to work with it. Tamara, tell me what your dish is. I'm doing a take on a BBM spring roll. I'm marinating some schmelt in sake, and I'm also crisping some up in cornstarch. I'm going to try some and see which one turns out better. Do you think that was a wise decision? I'm going to try to impress. Thanks for the resub, dog. I'm going to safe, that's for sure. Good luck. Thank you very much, chef. Danny, how those Camera pans out, and they're oh, drowning sure. Ben's head I in the fucking frying oil. Fish. You should be glad I'm up here. Uh, she talks a lot. She's pretty darn cocky. Kayla's got a lot of garbage on her station, man. Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. I'm curious to see if she's creative. I don't think she is. There's the heat of the scotch bonnet. A scotch bonnet? What are you making here? Have you lost your fucking mind, Kayla? That is 250,000 Scoville. How much pepper did you use in that? Holy shit. Yeah. You know how hot that is, right? I made a really stupid mistake. It's way too spicy. I don't know if I'm yeah, you... save this. You're an animal. Your You've lost your fucking mind, I'm Kayla. I'm gonna add a crap load of cream to it, some vegetable stock, but at this point it's not looking good. 15 minutes! You have 15 minutes left! There's some very interesting dishes coming out. Very creative, don't you think? I am absolutely surprised. Yeah. Very much so. Actually, that would have been a really good plan, like put a Carolina Reaper in addition, and feed it to Joe. Watch him fucking break down. And it's going to be stuffed with the smell. You have 10 minutes left. Man, be cool, be cool, man. I'm really worried about Megan. Making a quiche out of smelts. I just can't see that working. It's gonna be all steamed, mushy, big mistake. Please, quiche gods, I don't ask for much. I don't know what smelt is, but it looks, looks pretty bad. Here we go. <laughs> and I already don't like blazing. quiche. Finishing touches on those plates, please. Don't even care. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heads up. Stop cooking unless you want to die. Good job. We gave you a Good work. ingredient from the Canadian Ocean. Get your fucking products. hands off of those plates. Let's see how you did. Eric, come on up. Thanks for the prime crispy. What is this? Smell broth with soba noodles topped with a Thanks, very Eduardo. Smell and deep fried smell. Looks pretty good. You did not eat that much. I, I don't know why you're chewing that big. Smell. Because I find it very innovative, and even I would not think of something like that. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. And I've studied every smelt book there is. Delicious lemon eel with a bit of heat. Took a 
massive risk here. Smelts, three ways, and every way is good. Hey, congratulations, Eric. Tomorrow, please come up. Hello, Tomorrow. What do we have Today here? I put smelt in a toilet bowl I mean, and I'm feeding it to Joe. Salad roll with uh, soba noodles, sesame oil, chili paste, marinated fish, and some sake, and fried them. I notice you keep pulling the Asian card. Yeah. First I did Indian. Asian. Then I did Chinese. Asian. And then I did Vietnamese. Asian, again. I'm trying to go around the world. Maybe skip Asian next time. Okay, you racist. Whatever, I guess. They're delicious. Thank you. I wish there were more. The smelts, though. Thank you. <laughs> Is that all? Dude just came up there to have like a fucking episode about Asia, and then walk away. Tomorrow, I like the presentation. Asian, 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 nice. Asian. Thank I was you. Trying to go big and not go home. Sounds like a good strategy. I really like the flavors. I think it's a very smart dish. Well done. Thank you very much. I am not just a one trick pony. I can do other things other than Asian, and I'm definitely going to bring it. Hey, make what you want. All power to you tomorrow. Please come tomorrow. Up your dish. Would I be a judge on MasterChef? Oh, you bet your sweet ass I would. Smelt croquettes with chili lime sauce. Where are the smelts? I pureed them and then you pureed them. That's Why? bold. Why would you puree a beautiful fish like that and turn it into? It's, it wasn't beautiful. Bush. That looked like a fucking pest you'd find in a pool. It's pretty bad. Danny, saw you out there, arms folded like this. You're very cool. <laughs> I see. Just finished. Man, he's got a bone to pick. of college. Computer science, sorry if you get asked this a lot, but what are your this thoughts on going to college? I mean, this is MasterChef Canada. And you give me this! Oh god! Make sure to smash that like button and thumbs up, ring the bell, tell your mom I said hi.